Like, what just happened? Ross's tilt is unique because he's, like, super happy and doesn't... He's not really showing it, but he's showing it in the way that he's playing, that he's kind of tilted. I mean, that hand was just absurd. Um, so, Ross is now down a lot. Um, Keith lost 12K earlier and left. Uh, Johnny's down about 10K. Ross is down about 10K. So, uh, at least... Yeah, that kind of happened. Oh. oh, wow. No way. Oh, my God. Look at this. It's really wrong with aces and Brian Kim with with kings. Oh, man. Can can his really round get the full double here? Will he do it? If he goes for the four bet though, uh, Brian's just gonna flat a lot of time because Brian knows his really round does not four bet very often, and so uh, his radar is gonna go up. Uh, we saw him lose the minimum with kings against Bart Hansen's aces in a four bet pot last month, and let's see what happens here. You know, is really rounds capable of anything here? He could flat. He could four bet. Um, there's a lot of things. He could fold. Here. He could definitely fold. <laughs> 14. How many oh, this is a great spot for Israeli Ron. Isn't that like a mic? Someone's like in the chat. Donnie Ward is like, I always have the kings here. It's like that's just like yeah. microcosm for life. Why do I always got the kings? Uh, Brian could shove here. Uh, he could flat. He should definitely call. He just calls. Yeah, Brian knows Israeli Ron's range is really strong here. Yeah. He knows that he has like Queens Jacks, Ace King yeah, Aces. Right. <laughs> this is uh, helps this is, to no one. This is uh yeah, it's gonna be hard for Brian not to the, double him. The up funny here. thing is is that Israeli Ron could like bet eight hundred, then he could bet a thousand that you know So so here's the thing here. Um knowing Israeli Ron's like exact range pretty much if you're Brian that you could just shove here and you're going to... Uh, oh, dear yeah, God. Yeah, like, Brian should just shove here because really Ron has queens and jacks a lot, too. He, he four bets those hands in, the, in this game. And so um, I think that he's going to get called by queens and jacks and then he's going to lose to aces. This hand so, sucks. So like, I it, hate this spot for Brian. I think that Brian should just shove here and get it in because he still beats a couple hands. He has to, but I feel like... The sizing that we've seen is so different than what he's done previously. I mean, like, but like, 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 it's really Ron just overbet the pot. Booth, what Ron has. This is the first oh, time I've uh, heard Brian talk. Oh, he just said, he said, can you ask them in the booth what is really Ron has? <laughs> <laughs> can I see his cards? Wow, I've never heard him actually in the middle of a big hand use some humor like that. Yeah. I've never seen him like show personality in the middle of a big hand with action pending. What are you for, like, 24, 50 stars? That's pretty funny. So, he said, can you ask him in the booth what he has? <laughs> That's funny. What did Brian do? Brian fold? Sure. Brian just folded, kings. What? Oh, my God. Let's go. What a fold by Brian. Did he show it? Did I missed it. Did Ron show there? He did show? He showed it. Wow. Ron is going to be tilted when he sees that later that Brian had kings. Brian does not not going to say what he had, but <laughs> Brian just folded. I mean, he just knows that really Ron had aces there with I the mean, way they have played inexplicable. out. Inexplicable. Like what a fold. By, what do you guys think of that? That might be the hand of the, the night right there. What a fold by Brian Kim. That's why he's the best. That's why Brian Kim is so I, I, sick. I ha that, that, that was Much definitely respect. one of the sickest folds I've uh, seen. Everyone knows how you play around. Secrets out. Only the Asians. How do you think of that secret?